Okay, so this is some bonus content that we've put together for you. Thank you, by the way, so much for sharing the masterclass with your audience. That is so cool. Um, so what I want to do is kind of go over how I use um, ChatGPT and the AI models that are out there right now. So um, the first thing that I actually started to, to learn was it's not just about giving ChatGPT a command. It's about refining that command and making it so that we're giving them more and more parameters because AI will go from point A to point B, um, you know, and if you don't narrow the lane of what you want it to create, then um, the output may not fit what, what you were hoping for. I'll give you an example. My very first thing that I did inside of ChatGPT was I was trying to get ChatGPT to help me write a blog. And I was having a really hard time actually getting it to create good content. It was, it was creating paragraphs of content, but it wasn't really, you know, good for my audience. Um, you know, it wasn't something that I would feel proud to put out. And so I was like, okay, how can I tweak this? So I was doing, you know, I, was, I bought a course on AI and I was following along and I was, you know, seeing how they were giving ChatGPT a lot of different um, parameters. One of the other things that I learned, which you'll see as you go through the bonus content, is you can tell ChatGPT, here's your persona, here's your um, kind of like your, here's how I want you to think when you perform this task, right? So you'll see me say like, you're a copywriter, you're a screenwriter, right? So like, these are things that you're telling ChatGPT to do so that it gets, it can think like that person, right? So I even give it a persona for myself. And I say, I want you to act as Alex Branding. Here's who Alex is. And then I tell it to write social media posts, right? So, um, but, but with ChatGPT, it's about, okay, here's who you are to perform this task. Here's the task that I want. And here's the parameters, add the parameters. You can see me do that in the meal plan. I gave it really specific parameters, right? And then it outputs great meal plans for me and my family. But the parameters are going to be the difference maker between content that's output by AI and great content that's output by AI. So um, I, I recommend just going through some of these prompts, tweak them so that it fits you and what you're you know, working on. Um, and then, you know, reporting back like this, this, these bonus prompts right here, these are things that I'm not sharing with anybody except for you that shared our masterclass with your friends and family. Um, but these are things that I use on a regular basis to really help me, help me save time. Um, you know, often I have to massage the output, but that's okay. Because like, even for a blog post, if I were to sit down on a blank piece of paper, you know, that's going to take me, you know, I don't know, let's say 45 minutes, chat GPT does it in one. <laughs> and then I just have to massage it, you know? So it cuts like a 45 minute task down to, you know, five or 10. That's amazing. So these are the prompts that I use on a regular basis, almost every single week to help me save time, leverage my time better, leverage these new AI tools. And this is, you get a behind the scenes look at what Alex does and how he uses ChatGPT. So enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.